Hello everyone! Let's face it, sometimes reading through a lot of journal articles or even academic texts can be daunting and a lot of us struggle to cope with all the complicated sentences and also words. What if I tell you that there is a tool that can help you to overcome this problem? So this is the tool that I would like to introduce it to you. It's called Science Space. S-C-I for science, I think. And then the URL is typeset.io. So the URL at the moment is a bit weird because it's still using the old one, typeset.io. At the moment, you can just go to typeset.io and then you'll be brought to this particular tool or particular website. Um, so what you need to do first is to register an account and log in like what I did here. Once you log in, you will have your own library. You will see my library here. It's where you can upload all your papers that you have downloaded or you have uh, found from other sources and you would like to use Science Space Copilot to help you. Now, again, let me remind you before I go further, this is not a tool for you to simply just copy and paste it and put it in your assignment or your thesis or whatever you are doing. It's a tool to help you to understand uh, academic tags or even journal papers or articles that you found online or even use it to find related articles or related literature that is the key it's not asking you to just simply use it and then copy paste it take it at surface value no right let me let me be clear on this first okay now what you can do with this tool is very uh, quite straightforward first thing is to you can do discovery where if you do not want to use Google Scholar or other search engine, you can just use this to find related papers here, right? Or just quickly search using the search bar. So let's say if I were to search for artificial intelligence, then it will kind of search through the databases that they are connected to and list out all the papers like this. And you can see it's nicely organized for you. You can sort by relevance, by citation count, by nearest first and you know alphabetical order and so on. You can also limit it by year, last few years, last year, last three years, last five years and on, or even specific period according to your preference. You can sort by type. You can see there's so many articles here. You can just sort it like, for example, only journal article. You don't want the rest. You will also want to limit by, you know, you can also limit by key authors, you know, the prominent ones as listed here, or by institution, by topics, or by type of journal or journal name or databases that you can, you know, uh, access. There's also a tool for you to limit to only open access, means those that you can download the full text, and those limited ones will be filtered out. So I think it's very helpful. You can also click on... Uh, papers with PDF only so any sources with PDF will be uh, made you know will be sorted for you this is very very handy also you can see you have citation function here may not be accurate at the moment I noticed because some of the formatting may not be uh, correctly formatted like for example here this the front part may not be correct I think this one still need a bit of uh, work for the developing team and you can also share the paper if you want to. You can also save it to your library. And the best part is this one, Trace. So the Trace tool is like a mapping tool where you get to see related papers. You know, like sometimes we have one paper, but then we need more, you know, to understand further or maybe for our literature review. You can do uh, a quick search based on related papers like this, right? And then once you click another one, then you will have access to more. So you can see here. What I like is the fact that you can have access to multiple papers or multiple from multiple authors or institutions at the same time and then you can do that kind of mapping and see uh, how are these papers related in, in a way. And also by topic, right? You can see here, really nicely map out for you. Sometimes we need this kind of snowballing feature, you know, find one and then they start to snowball to more and more and more and more because you need to go deeper and deeper or maybe you need to find more papers to understand the same concept or uh, to fulfill the you know requirement of your paper or dissertation sometimes when you, when you want to do literature review reviewing five may not be enough so you need to find more so this is very very handy and very very useful you also get to see all the references available here and if it's available in another source you can quickly link it and find the papers very fast 
the traditional way of course will be going to the reference list and then you copy and paste and all that you know to, to the search engine and try to find it but this one will help you to find it if it's available right this is only the surface part of you know the filtering and discovery part the best part is actually the co-pilot right the the ai uh, that they have developed in helping you to understand the text uh, powered by gpt of course but it came it came with uh, very useful suggested questions like this so once you have a paper imagine this is a full paper and then you can just click what are the key takeaway um, these are the prompts available here if you don't like the prompt you can quickly type out your own questions i i need some examples of this all right so just type it out your question and it will try to answer based on what it understands right okay you can see here presented here but because this is mainly a an abstract very short so uh, you don't really get much from this let me go and show you my own upload so once you up click upload the pdf you'll be brought to this um, um, library as you can see there's an upload button here and then you can also import from zotero if you're using zotero reference manager then you can also import the files that you have from there now you can create your own collection you know name it by theme or by year or depending on how you want to do it so in this case i just name it by theme as a chatbot i have uploaded one paper so once i click my paper it will be loaded like this and i have asked some questions here as you can see right so let me just ask another one just to show you um, what has this paper contributed let's say you want to know you want to quickly know whether you know uh, before you even read further you want to know what this paper is not you know novel about or the novelty of this paper so it says here contributed and blah 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 so you can try to read through yeah it's relevant then you can dig deeper all right or again like i said you can type your own questions here and then you will try to uh, answer it okay or let's say if you want to go further you can ask a follow-up question based on whatever has been explained here so you can click on it and then ask further based on this part only or go to the text right like this one highlight the part that you need and then explain text that the pop-up will appear and then you click on it and then it will explain only based on this part so pretty handy especially sometimes you know you you probably understand the general idea of the paper but that part requires a bit of explanation you can see how it has expanded a bit and helping you to focus more on the you know whatever the paper has summarized now if this is still complicated to you then you can ask a follow-up question i like the fact that for example this one is everything is put into one paragraph it looks very complicated and very hard to read but the co-pilot helps you to organize in paragraph it helps you to deconstruct it better and probably you can understand the text better right and the magical part is if you have equation or tables on the paper that you may you know may not be able to interpret on your own you can try and use this explain math and table feature up here so if i click on it i just have to drag and highlight this table and let it do the magic here right so you can see it snap here and then the cool pilot is trying to help you describe the table for you now you can see here of course the equation here is is, is a bit ridiculous because you don't need to know the percentage so this one you probably can ignore but this is quite useful because it tells you like you know the first row of paper for environment danger is that blah 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 i think this is also helpful for those with some learning disabilities like uh, dyslexic people or even those with visually impairment visual impairment because using text reader and all that sometimes it may not be able to interpret images like this or figures like this so copilot will be able to do that for for this kind of learner so i think it's very um useful very inclusive as well all right okay so um can go on and ask question you can go on and on until you're happy and you can also notice that whatever you have asked before it will be stored here it will not be fully deleted so you can still do your follow up later just in case you know like while you're doing this you need to do something else you can leave it here first and then it will be saved to your account make sure you have your own account registered as well so that it's easier to keep track of everything all right
So that's side space for you and try to explore and let me know what you think in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for, to my channel for more video like this. Thank you.